separation. And I was telling y'all like, hey, we are here, we six days away from war. So when I, do they try to war against us? Because remember, we we started the shift in December 21st, which is why even while I'm on Instagram, you see a lot of you've taken to the information because the, that it was a fucking issue. We're just now seeing that right now. Okay, so all the gods and goddesses, like, don't, I don't want y'all sitting out there thinking like, okay, well, what happens next? Um, What's going on? Sit back, pay attention to what's happening. This shift, all right, for those of you that was already awoke, the only, you're getting deeper downloads, right? You're getting deeper downloads and you're, you're consuming information and taking to your frequency to a frequency to a higher level, right? And we're going to talk about, uh, I want to show y'all like brain waves too today. So I'm going to show y'all about delta waves and the difference between delta waves, theta waves, alpha waves, gamma waves, like the neuroscience of the brain. So you can understand what the fuck is really going on right now. You get what I'm saying? And how they plan it. They're manipulating the Hertz frequency in your brain with this illusion. All right. So let's stay focused. So now let's start. Let's start with Joe Biden picture in the Bible that he used when he took oath when he came to the presidency. All right. Let's, let's start with that. And let's keep in mind that the Democrats and Republicans had this fake beef going since November, which made the shit get way drawn out, which had it. When keep in mind that Donald Trump kept saying they stole the election. Just keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind. And keep in your mind that I told y'all that Donald Trump's the last motherfucking president. Keep all that in your mind right now. I'm going to show you something. All right. Because what they just did, they just pulled, they just pulled a, a slick okie doke. And keep in mind... That Donald Trump and Joe Biden is still on the same fucking team. We know who the oppressors is. We know who the oppressors is. Let's not get caught up in, oh, Trump won, Biden won. They are still a part of igniting these fucking clone wars that has that started January 20th, all right? Remember I talked to y'all about how martial law is already intact. They got all our cities surrounded. They're still waiting to storm these cities at on, on go. They got these winter soldiers activated. Now, they still got that going on, family. That is still going on, all right? But let me show you something, though. A lot of people didn't, didn't pay attention to this. Some people did. All right? So, this Bible is a unique Bible, right? And it's not a regular Bible. It's, it's honestly not. It's not the same Bible. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you something. Sit y'all right there real quick. Show y'all. This Bible that Joe Biden. To take office, the president is not the same Bible that every other president has. Ever used. I'm going to show you the difference first, and then I'm going to show y'all why. All right? Um, then I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay? So you can understand what just, what's, what's happening uh, and what took place. So first, let me try to pull up, like, some images of maybe an older president with a different bi with a Bible. Placing their hand, being sworn. Let me use Barack Obama when he was sworn in. Okay. You see the Bible that Barack Obama had his hand on when he was sworn in the oath? Pay attention, family. Now, you see the Bible that Barack Obama had when he was sworn into office, right? Pay attention, right? You see it? Okay. Okay, cool. Now, hold on. Let's pull up Donald Trump. Let's just, let's just see, you know, Donald Trump. I'm going to just hit that. They should know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. 
Okay. Now, <laughs> I want you to notice something. Now, look. Notice. Now, this is the Bible that Donald Trump used when he was serving as president. Y'all see that, right, class? Notice Donald Trump Bible. That's a that's a regular Bible. It's a regular King James joint. Look at Barack Obama Bible when he was sworn in as president of the United States. See, 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 they know, they, they know, they understand that most, <laughs> that most of us are fucking sleep. So we do not understand the light codes and people do not pay attention to detail. Okay. Or to even ask why is the Bible changing up like that? Okay. So. But just click on Donald Trump. And I mean, I can go back. I can go, I can go back to damn near every president if you want. They always had their hand on a regular Bible. We see Trump, right? Now, let's check out Joe Biden when he got sworn. What the fuck is this? Okay? Now, on the side it say Holy Bible. Notice the headline says Joe Biden family's Bible has a long history. Okay? Hold on. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. You get what I'm saying? What the fuck is that? Okay? Okay? I don't think y'all hear me. Now, let's go back. When Because this is where it all starts with. When Donald Trump was sworn his hand on to take his oath as the president of the United States of America. All right? And let's look at the president right before Donald Trump was sworn in, Barack Obama, and notice the Bible, he had his hand on. All right? But when we get to Joe Biden, what the fuck is that? All right? Notice, that's a huge difference. It got locks and seals, all type of shit. Ain't no King James Version Bible that thick right there. What is that he placing his hand on? need to be asking yourself you get what i'm saying what is that he's placing his hand on to take this oath all right i'm gonna say that. i'm gonna break it down but i want the light codes to sink in shut alive three times because we understand the power of the three the six and the nine okay let's look at let's look at it again there go trump we looking at the bible there go trump's bible all right it go Barack Obama's Bible. Those are actual Bibles. Now, I, I'm telling you right now that this is not a Bible. That is not a Bible. Let me put the camera back. Shatina Howard said that's his family Catholic Bible. Yeah, they tried to say the same thing too. That's why the New York, the New York Times covered it, right? Because they knew they knew that this shit was gonna stand out to somebody. Not everybody, but somebody might catch it. So that that's why they put out cover stories. It's called a cover story. Here go the cover story right here. They already got it ready for you. Joe Biden's family Bible has a long history. Whole time. The book that he took a picture with, it don't even say Holy Bible on the side. That's some. That's what they put right here. You know what I'm saying? For the picture to make you think that that was a Bible, and then they got a whole story. Look, look, and look who print. Look who did the article. Go figure. The capital of the country, the New York Times. See what I'm saying? They already got their backstory for you if you peep this book that he took his oath over. See what I'm saying? That ain't no Bible. All right? That is not no Bible. All right? So, now, yeah, yeah, they got, they, got, they got the cover story for you right here. In case you get to asking questions, New York Times dropped the story for your ass right away. Joe Biden's family Bible has a long history. All right? Ah, uh, yeah, it definitely got a long history. 
It got a long history, all right? We're going to talk about it, all right? So this right here, family, is not a Bible that he's placing his hand over to take an oath as the new president of the United States of America, all right? And I'm going to explain to you what it is. This book is an ancient book that comes from the draconian reptilian star system, and it is the history of the Anunnaki, the Pleiadians, the Draconian reptilians, and it also has some of the most ancient and most powerful spells of all time in the book, okay? Now, the reason that Joe Biden is placing his hand on and use this book specifically, and they didn't have no other president use this spell book, because it's really a spell book. That's really a spell book. That's an ancient spell book, all right? Now, because I told you they practice in witchcraft anyway. Now, the reason they, that they didn't have these people use it because they were actually becoming the president of the United States of America. Listen closely. I repeat, the reason every other president, except maybe one or two other, I think John Quincy Adams also used the same book that, that Joe Biden used right here. All right. Same book. Other than that, mostly every president had a regular Bible. And that was because they were becoming, let's go to Barack Obama, Barack Obama's book, Donald Trump's Bible. All right. They were becoming president of the United States of America, the Republic. Whereas Joe Biden, all right, we are moving into what's called a new world order. All right. So he has just been. Pro, he has just been deemed the head sorcerer of the New World Order. Okay? I repeat, Joe Biden's inauguration was nothing more than him being deemed as the head sorcerer of this New World Order agenda. I need y'all to I need y'all to hang on to what I'm telling y'all because it's gonna lead into the next thing I'm about to say. So it's imperative that you understand. And pay, and pay attention to that this day that he was inaugurated, all right, the, 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 the clone Donald Trump was, the second clone Donald Trump was killed during the, the, the rioting at the, at the Capitol, the fake clone rioting they had going on at the Capitol that was staged, that's when the, the second clone Donald Trump was killed. I repeat, the second clone Donald Trump was killed during the riots at the fucking Capitol, all right? This is why his message was so fucking different from, the ex from, from 10 hours before. All right. I can literally play Donald Trump's message that he gave to his supporters. Right. Before they stormed the Capitol. And then we can play the message he gave 10 hours later. Completely different message. Completely different energy. Completely different spirit. Completely different entity in that vessel. All right. So to hide the truth from the American civilization about. This war that's going on that started last year with Jeffrey Epstein, all right, who's also dead. Tom Hanks, dead, all right. Madonna, dead. Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, dead, because Mich Michelle Obama is actually a transsexual. She was, well, he, she was a transsexual, dead, all right. These people were, a lot of these big, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, a lot of these big names were hung and tried last year. These motherfuckers been dead. Okay, so what you've been looking at all since last year up to now is clones anyway. But you have to understand that I told y'all the war started on the 20th. They just deemed the clone, this clone, because he is a clone. This is a clone shell. This is a clone. These are all, these are clones ro and synthetic robots right here. All right, that's all there is. N n no life is in these vessels. All right. But that's why Joe Biden, all right. When he took the oath and they used this book, this is the book of spells, an ancient book of spells that comes from the draconian star system. And it doesn't only just have like ancient spells that are like the time spell that was given to them and created by the Octorians, but it has all the ancient, true, artifactual history, which the Vatican been had anyway. All right. So basically, we're, Biden has become the head sorcerer. Of the new world order. And remember, their 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 agenda is was to move us from uh a one human race, if you want to say that, or gods, all the way to um they want to mix 
man with, with metal, transhumanism, all right? That's the end goal. That's the end result, all right? That's why they came with the vaccinations, because they trying to alter the plasma inside of your carbonated be be people, which are your black and Latinos, okay? Now, keep in mind, they already know that we are shifting within. So the plasma energy is hitting the planet. The solar energy is hitting the planet. This is happening every single second of the fucking day, all right? So they can't stop that shift. They can't stop that shift. All they can do is prepare on their end the war back. All right. So that's what they're doing in their own little way, which is why this book was used that day and why they didn't have nobody out there. It had nothing to do. Listen, it had nothing to do with what happened at the Capitol. All right. They went and put all the look. They went and put. If I put it back on. Let me let me let's, let's talk about it. Think about this. Right. Hold on. They went and put the, the United States of America, right? They brought them, and I'm going to put it back on the, tab, on the laptop, but we're going to talk for a second. So the United States of America, right? They brought in all this military force to still not let nobody go to the inauguration. They only passed out what they said, 1,000 tickets, right? So why didn't they have no one at the inauguration? Because that wasn't a, that wasn't a regular inauguration. That was a, that was a ceremony. That was a, 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 a ritualistic witch ceremony to cross over portals and dimensions into this one. I repeat, the inauguration that you've seen on TV on the 20th was not, no, it was nothing like any inauguration that they had ever did before because that's why they didn't use no regular Bible. That's why, once again, let me flip it around. Let me flip it around. All right. This is why they did not use a regular Bible, because what they were doing were opening portals and crossing over dimensions to let in more of their archon fucking allies. All right. And they harness the energy of the American public and the blacks and Latinos, the gods, just by having you watch it. Remember, whatever you watch, you give your life force and energy to. All right. So they used they they simply used. Hold on. All they did was simply. All they did was simply use the energy that they had gathered up through the anticipation of the root chakra. All right. Let me show y'all something. We're going to talk about the frequency that because we've always talked about chakras. Right. But I've never showed y'all the, the, the frequency that chakras vibrate at. So. A lot of shit you can't believe everything you, you, you Google and Wikipedia, but some things you can't use to, to back up what you're looking for. All right. So let's see if they'll pull it up before I start talking about it. All right. I want to see if they're if they, if they going to give y'all, all right, because I want to show it to y'all about the frequencies, right, of your chakras, all right, and how it connects, how it connects to everything that they are doing against you in this war right now. Hold on. But we at this shit deep, y'all, because it's 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 a crazy witchcraft tactic they use, and while doing that, they harnessed a lot of energy when they did it. They lowered the frequency. They lowered the they lowered the frequency of the planet a lot with what they did. They but they I mean they still gonna lose. I'm just saying what what happened with this inauguration. This is why the energy changed right after they did all that shit, leading up to it, and then right after the last three four days, the energy been on a completely different level than it was before that happened. But then you got tomorrow, you have all these solar flare winds that's coming into the atmosphere that's going to reshift, you know, that little energy because it's a war. Let me hit accept real quick, y'all. All right. So let's see if they show y'all the frequency. The frequency numbers. No, nah, they, don't, they don't got it right there. Let me see. So you can understand the true reason why Joe Biden. Hold on. The witchcraft behind this tactic right here, why he had this big ass book of spells as opposed to an actual Bible like Trump had or Barack Obama had or every other motherfucking president that came before him. All right. This is because Donald Trump was your last president. Donald Trump was your last president of the United States of America. What what just happened right here? This had nothing to do with no president of no United Co of the corporation, which is the United States of America. This was a sorcery tactic used to open up portals and cross and intercross dimensions. All right. 
And it also ordained him the head sorcerer, even though he's not at the head, right? He is the new head sorcerer of this new world order, all right? He is the one that's responsible for rallying up his troops to fight us in this grand battle that's taking place, okay? That's taking place, but before I can get y'all to understand all that, let's see if I can pull up the, 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 the frequency of the chakras, Let's see if I can find one for y'all. Let's see. I think so. Here we go. There you go. Okay. So check game. So you can see what they're doing. Okay. So this is the, the, the frequency of the chakras. Chakra frequencies and correlations. All right. Chakra frequencies and correlations. Pay attention. All right, pay attention right now, class. Now, keep in mind, this is a book of spells. This is a witchcraft book, ancient sorcery. All right, and they've been passing this book down for energy cycles. That's why it looked like that. All right, now check this out. And they have a lock on it. Have you ever seen a fucking Bible with a lock on it? All right? And when a motherfucker do put a lock on it, you better believe there's more to it. All right. Now, what they are doing is they're using witchcraft, right? So witchcraft means they're they're playing with frequencies. They're tapping with frequencies. Okay. Notice everybody in the picture has on what color? Blue. Hold on. Blue and what? Black. Black represents what? The original darkness, non ether beings, dark matter energy, which is what all comes from. Okay. They got on blue along with blue face masks in this exact picture. But if you if you if you was to look at more people out there, you will see it was way more people out there that had on blue as well that stood out there with Biden and them. All right, now let's correlate this to the chakras. Peep game. Okay. So every image that they send in at the at at the brain, all right, is to knock off the neurochemistry of the brain, to damage the neocortex. Okay, I repeat, every image that they showing you on TV is to damage the neocortex. Now, this image they are showing you, this actually penetrates the neocortex. All right. Why? Because he's in a meditative posture. Pete Gay, that one hand down, one hand up. You know what that symbolizes? First off, y'all don't know this. This is what a meditative still posture, right? Remember, you can do it with both, but you can also do it with one because he has one hand down and one hand up, all right? That in itself is no different than doing this, pointing up and pointing down, right? Which is as above, so below, inner balance. But his wife noticed, right? She has, so the whole symbol that he's doing right now, you got to understand this. Even when they do this every year, they do this, right? But, hold on, let me show y'all something. So what you got to understand is this posture right here, right, is going to it's going to harness energy, right? Just standing in this posture. He's also in black with his hand on this book of source on a, on a sorcerer book, right? On a sorcerer book. Notice that where it has this cross set, which we know the cross is a symbol of death. It has met those locks is what metal metal, right? They are using the colors of blue, which represents what? Throat chakra energy. Okay? Notice the mask he has on blue. The mask he has on blue. Now, that might not stand out to you because you probably like, I see blue masks every day. Let's dive deeper. Check game. Her right here also has on a blue mask with a darker blue on it. Why? Because this blue represents what? Throat chakra energy. Throat, when you're talking about the throat chakra, when you're talking throat chakra, there goes your throat chakra right there. Throat chakra energy, right? Throat chakra energy, right? When you're talking throat chakra, this symbolizes truth. This symbolizes truth. So, throat chakra, so there's this, symbol, this energetic field symbolizes that what they are doing is right and what they stand for is the supreme truth that we all should accept. It gets a lot deeper than this, right? Now, you got a lot of these people that actually vote, especially gods and goddesses. So let me take you deeper. So that magnetism is definitely harnessed and tied up into what they did right here. But not only theirs, 
Guess who else energy is tied up to what they did right there? Mine's and yours as well. You know why? Because we gave it attention the whole time. We still entertained it. I still had to entertain it just to make y'all aware of it. So we still entertained the moment, right? So they were still able to harness this energy. Now check game. Your brain, your brain at its natural state vibrates at a frequency of 72 hertz. And we talking gamma waves. Okay? Now check this out. When they are harnessed in your energy and your frequency, look where they got you vibrating at. 432 hertz. All right? 432 hertz. All right? 72 is 720. So you talking, when you talking 72, naturally you're supposed to vibrate. You see it? 72, 720. 7 plus 2 is 9. They go to 9 again. 9 ether beings. All right? When you talking about the natural what? Pineal gland activation. Okay? So, in order to stop you from vibrating at this frequency, they keep you vibrating out in your root chakra. But we know about root chakra and sacral chakra, but we never understood the exact frequencies that they vibrate at. Now, you need to pay attention to this frequency that they're vibrating at because it ties back to this right here. Hold on. It ties right back to this. It ties right back to this. It ties right back to this. Now, right now, most people were vibrating in their root chakra in the country because they were in fear not knowing what was going to happen with the presidential election. So you've been vibrating at 432 hertz the whole time if you're moving with any fear or depression. All right, I repeat, if you're moving with any fear or 32 hertz, all right, to get any form of balance, you, should, you need to vibrate at the level of the heart chakra, all right? You see it? Which starts at 552 hertz and up. All right, now... Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all brain waves. Okay? Show you brain waves. Because with your brain waves, it's the same thing. Hold on. It's the same thing. Let me see if I can pull it up. Let me show y'all something. Okay, here we go. Now, with your brain waves, the colors work opposite. Okay, so. Let's check it out. We gonna start right here at four to eight hertz, okay? Four to eight hertz is considered theta. We're talking neuroscience right now. This is this is neuroscience, okay? Four to eight hertz is considered theta. All right. Now let's read about theta. It reduced consciousness, deep meditation, dreams, light sleep, and REM sleep. Okay, so if your brain is emitting the impulse of four to eight hertz, you are in theta. Those are called theta brain waves, and they only come when you are in a light sleep, deep meditation, or in REM sleep. Now pay attention. Delta waves, which are the lowest, these are below four hertz. They appear when you are in deep dreamless sleep or you or loss of bodily awareness, like when somebody's knocked out unconscious. These are delta waves. These are what you see when somebody's in the emergency room. You see the delta waves when they're lying on the when they're lying on the bed in a hospital room. Delta waves, don't they look like this? The the that's what you be seeing on the screen, and they be laying with their eyes closed, with tubes in their mouth, and they be in loss of body awareness or deep sleep. Delta waves. All right, pay attention to this because this shit finna give this shit finna give way deeper than this. All right. Now check game. You gotta know we gotta know about brain waves first, so you can understand what they are doing right now. All right, with this, with the whole inauguration bullshit, what they just did. All right, so now you got alpha waves, nine to thirteen hertz. When do you emit alpha waves? You emit the brain emits alpha waves when it is physically and mentally relaxed, when you are awake but drowsy. 
So that's like when you coming out of that sleep state, you be emitting alpha waves. Your brain is in an alpha wave state. All right. Better is what you in when you're right now. We're all in better. That's 14 to 30. That's when you are awake, normal and alert and basic consciousness. OK, this is not these are the way your brain waves work. Now, the highest brain waves. Let me flip the camera around. Where my people at who said last year when I was teaching y'all about gamma radiation and how it runs all through you. And they was like, gamma radiation ain't real. Only the Hulk got that in movies. Okay. If we don't have gamma radiation, then why the fuck does the brain emit gamma waves? And gamma waves are the highest that the brain emits. 30 hertz and above equals gamma wave radiation. And that is the heightened perception. You see what it say? Heightened perception. Okay, gamma waves, 30 hertz and above. Now, this brings me back to what I said about the brain being naturally 72 hertz in the brain wave state, right? But notice this. What color is theta? See what color that is? And it's only four to eight hertz. And this is when you in like a deep meditation or what? Reduce consciousness. Now let's go back to this Joe Biden picture. What color does she have on? So what do you think that's doing to your brain? It's reducing your consciousness. This also is symbolic of the fact that they are using sorcery and are about to use more sorcery to further put the public in a deeper sleep state so that we can fall under this new world order. Now, check game. How can they make us fall under the new world order when we are rising? How can they make us fall? Because remember, the, the, the attack is against the gods, right? The attack is... Oh, it's all type of shit. That I, 33 missing kids. That's a, that's a whole other topic, though. We go... Look, though. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Biden has signed a lot of executive orders in, all right? In the first little 10 days. But it's one order that I want y'all to pay attention to because he's already raising the taxes. All right, he's raising the little bullshit taxes. And don't, don't pay attention to that. That's the money system. Don't even get caught up in that. That's not real. But he's raising the taxes because when he raised the taxes, all right, he's, he, just let, he, just let, he, let, he just let a lot of people go from jobs. All right? You see he got this new $15 minimum, minimum wage proposal. But in order for him to do that, they're going to have to uh, cut 3 million jobs. OK, so this is just pushing you more into that. This is just pushing the country more into the state of where motherfuckers feel like they're going to need FEMA. Now, keep in mind, all this is only going on because their time is up. Let's not forget that their time is up. This is why all this is going on. OK, but one of Biden's. What I want you to peep is this. This one of the main executive orders I want you to pay attention to. Now, keep in mind, we in the middle of war, right? I'm, I already showed you that the Bible that Biden used, which it wasn't a Bible, is a completely different book than Obama and, and Trump. I had to show y'all that first because if I'm like, hey, he just, he just got ordained as the head sorcerer. You're like, nigga, you lying. Let me show you the difference in these books, right? So now that we know that, I, I took you into theta waves and brain waves, right? And remember, you learn through whatever you see visual, visual stimuli, all right? And keep in mind, we have souls and spirits and they don't. All right. Now, so Biden just became the head sorcerer with the plan being the lead. He's the new ass. He's he, he's the face of this Antichrist bullshit that you didn't heard about in religion is what I'm saying. He's the Antichrist because what he's going to do is what he's going to do is and what he just did is keep in mind, you already got half of the country that's still not fucking with Biden. All right. And. Donald Trump leaving. Hold on, hold on. Now this is gonna confuse y'all, but this all it's all go together. Donald Trump leaving out of DC, he's still the official president of the United States of America. Right? This is another reason why Biden had to take the sworn oath using that sorcerer book and not a regular Bible. Because Biden didn't just get sworn in the beat. I'm talking about the really what happened. He didn't get, yeah, they told the public sworn in as president. Yeah, they said that. But that ain't what just fucking happened. You know what I'm saying? Trump is still the, the fucking president of the United States of America. Now, go look this up. Trump can't lead. He can't still be the president, though. Right. In D.C. Right. Because D.C. 
is its own fucking republic. I repeat, a lot of y'all don't know this. Google it. I ain't gonna do everything for y'all. I repeat, DC is its own fucking republic. So all what happened, what really happened was they created the whole fake like they beef and shit, and they split. Trump left. He he's appearing to step out of office. Just wait till March to get here, okay? Now Trump appears to be stepping down. Notice he never said he conceded, but notice he he gave a, a, a little speech, the clone, the other little project. All right, he appears to be stepping down. However, Biden he didn't step down. He still it's gonna all come out. Just give it to March, right? Biden is still the official. I mean, Trump is still the official president of the United States of America, right? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show y'all something. Because I don't want y'all to fall for the bait trap, man. Alright? Technically, it's still no president of the United States of America, the Republic. Alright? This was your last official president, which is why I keep pointing to the Bible. The actual Bible. The actual Bible. The actual Bible that they take when they're taking a presidential oath. Okay? I'm trying, I'm showing y'all something, okay? Also notice this. Notice the ties. Alright? There's certain things they do in a presidential oath that's small, but they that they have to do that you might not have never noticed, like the blood tie. What color is Trump tie? Red. That's that red represents the blood that they had to sacrifice to conquer our planet, right? So they have made every president that is the president of their republic wear that tie during almost all of their inaugurations. I'm talking about I could pull up George Bush too. He gonna have the blood the striped tie, all red tie. Peep game. It's in the details, family. It's in the light codes. Share the live three times because we understand the power of the three, the six, and the nine. These were presidents over the United States of America. They have to do a regular Bible. They have to wear the red blood tie, which represents the blood that was shed by, by their forefathers sat in a, while trying to conquer this planet from us. But notice when you get to Joe Biden, and y'all might not notice this, what color is his tie? Blue. See, y'all, see, listen. The shit might sound crazy to your ass because you don't know about cosmic intelligence. I'm telling you, this motherfucker, this is not a Bible. This was not a presidential inauguration at all. This had nothing to do with the United States of America. He was just sworn in and given this position by the king and queen of motherfucking England who still run everything. Queen Elizabeth and them, I mean, they still run. They, 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 they are the true rulers. Queen Elizabeth and the Vatican are the true rulers of the whole realm. Those are the ones that took over. So Biden, he's now the new sorcerer of the NWO. So he had to place his hand over the sorcerer book. That's the same fucking book that Queen Elizabeth and the Pope and them got to place their hand over. All right? That book comes from the draconian star system. They are draconian reptilians. And insectoids and shit. Okay? So that's also why when the balance of power just changed, Biden has the blue tie. Biden has a whole different book. Everybody wearing blue represent that, that waves and throat shocker vibrations, right? That's, that's magic being used against the watchers, the observers, right? And then, hold on. Look at Trump's tie. Look at Barack's tie, the blood striped tie when you're the president of America. Trump still is the president of your old Republic of America. The USA is over with. It ended January 20th. The United States of America ended January 20th when, when Biden got sworn in as the head sorcerer of the new NWO movement. And he had to do that because those are direct orders. When he's taking that oath to the Queen of Elizabeth, to the Queen, to Queen Elizabeth and them. He answers to Queen Elizabeth and them. This is why he was sworn in like this. This is what this represents. This is why the new uh, the new plan is transhumanism. The new plan is for everybody to wear to get vaccinated, to take y'all guns, all that shit. That's why Biden like his the first thing Biden didn't did. He ain't even been in office ten motherfucking days. Here you go. Check him out.
tapes from their liberal opponents and applying it to the gun issue. National correspondent... Look at him. Biden ain't been in office 10 days. Second Amendment sanctuaries. He already... You heard him? Biden's plan to rewrite America's gun laws makes gun owners nervous. I'll be doing everything in my power, in office or out of office, to get those assault weapons off the, those assault weapons off the street, which I've done once. He said he will do everything in his power to get those assault weapons off the street. He will not stop until he has completely shut down the NRA. The NRA, that's the National Rifle Association family. He also just cut a lot of jobs and he also just raised taxes on y'all last, all right? And he's also forced, he's also got the mandatory vaccines coming for those at they at their job. Just listen to him, just listen to him. And to get those clips that have multiple bullets in them, not for sale. If the feds want to come in and start taking people down um, for having a high capacity magazine, uh, we're not going to have any part of that. State Rep. Leo Basucci wants to make Arizona a Second Amendment sanctuary state, banning the use of state money or Peep game. to enforce any federal law or regulation now, that violates the right to bear arms. Now, Biden ain't been, in, he ain't been in office 10 days. He's taking all the guns. That's what he on, right? Now, now hold on. Second Amendment. All right? Because we know we're not citizens anyway. There is no substance behind this. It's theater. It's spectacle. While opponents okay. Laws so, they do fear hold on. We ain't even got to, we ain't even got to keep looking at that shit. You see what I'm saying? All right. So, Biden, already in 10 days in office, he's already taking the guns off the street. That's his, that's one of his main focus is to get the guns from gun owners not not motherfuckers that got felonies people that are rightfully got the right to hold guns and weaponry now ask yourself why would he want to take the guns off the why would he want to take the guns off the street why would he want to take the guns off the streets family why is that the first thing that he's doing in his first 10 days along with raising taxes well raising taxes does what to the to the that to the brain waves let's look at the brain waves again right Let's go back to the to the chakras. All right. So him raising taxes is going to do what? Put fear. Boom. Root chakra energy dropping your dropping your vibration, keeping it down at 432 hertz and below. Now, let's look at what it does to the brain, the actual brain waves. All right. We remember our brain waves. We should be at 30 hertz and above 72 standard for gods and goddesses. All right. But in reality, while using witchcraft to keep you at the theta, to keep your brain waves vibrating at the theta level, which keeps you in a reduced consciousness or deep meditation, dream, light, sleep, REM sleep state, right? He's doing right. He's doing all that. Meanwhile, he enters. They understand that when we war with them. The first thing that we are going to be using is weaponry because a lot of the gods and goddesses. Not fully tapped into their abilities yet. OK, so the main thing they want to do is disarm your ass so that you are you have no way to defend yourself when they raid your house real soon with these mandatory vaccines. I repeat, okay, okay, so <clears throat> let me repeat, notice the first thing he's saying, get the guns out their out they house, get the guns, they guns, remember the war's for us, all right, they already got a fake ride that they just launched in Portland the other day, two, just pay attention, remember I told y'all, I said, hey, this is the calm before the storm, nigga. All right, this is we still in the Clone Wars. That's what I'm saying. Stay focused, nigga. That's why every time I get on here, Facebook don't let. I try to get on here yesterday, get y'all this type of shit, nigga. Facebook wouldn't let me go live for nothing, nigga. You hear me? We at 600 and climbing. You hear me? Every time we get to going on this shit, they know it's real and it's gonna do that. It's real information that need to get out there. Listen, man, you gotta pay attention to what I'm telling y'all because you ain't gonna hear it nowhere else. Probably. You get what I'm saying? Or you might, and if you do, that's good too. But like, they want to take the guns out. Because they asked on their way into your, inside your motherfucking house. 
Like I told y'all, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're on their way inside your house to force these mandatory vaccines because they want to take us into a transhumanism state, family. A transhumanism state, all right? Transhumanism state. Now, notice they they like, and they so slick, right? Just in case somebody peep game, the New York Times dropped the article quick on that shit. Look, Joe Biden's family Bible has a long history. This is nothing more but the draconian reptilians, y'all. The draconian reptilians, hold on, for officially emerging. Head sorcerers on the material plane. Remember I told y'all, I said Satan, Zeus, and the fallen, the, the God. Remember I told y'all, I said the draconian reptilians and the Pleiadians, all of these are fucking the fallen angels, the gods, disguising, hiding themselves behind them, right? Then remember I told y'all a few weeks ago, I said, hey, they're here on earth now. They're here on the ram with us now because we here, we warring. It's wartime now. You know what I'm saying? He's a clone. Who you think is animating that vehicle? Archons. Who are the archons? The fallen. So, look what he come right in on. Let's get the guns out their house. Mandatory vaccines. And they got a new strand of corona I told y'all about. B117. It's funny how 7 plus 2 is always 9. And they named the new coronavirus B117. Why everything got to come back to nine? Why is it always coming back to nine, which, which represents completion, which represents us? What was coronavirus called? It was coronavirus, but then they didn't want you to catch on to the word corona because it's a light code in corona. You, uh, me, your soul connects with corona because corona means literally crown of the motherfucking sun. All right. Your soul connects with corona. So what the oppressor did was he quickly came up with another name, COVID-19. There go, but he kept that nine in there. Nine times one is what? Nine, which represents us, nine ether beings. Why? Nine is completion and we are nine ether beings. We are the cosmos. We are everything. Not only does nine times one equal nine, but the number 19 literally translates to us because we are from the 19th galaxy. They always talk to you through numerology, witchcraft, because they understand that you don't know anything about witchcraft, which is why they ask conducted a whole fucking witchcraft ceremony on live TV.